Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am in Kerala now, vacationing with my family. It's heavily rainy here. Today's recipe is something uh, very special for me, one of my personal favorites. Jackfruit jam, chakka variety. So let's see how to make that. Here I've got a small piece of ripe jackfruit. I de-seeded this one and this is almost 500 grams. I just washed it to remove all the dust particles. After that, cut them into small small pieces. Apart from this, we need 3 tablespoons of ghee. Here I'm using freshly homemade ghee. 3 pieces of jaggery. Jackfruit is sweet enough so no need to add too much sweet into this and a pinch of salt just to balance all the flavors. Using a pressure cooker I am going to cook this jackfruits. To this I am adding quarter teaspoon of salt and half a cup of water so let's wait for 3 whistles it may take uh, 10 to 15 minutes Meanwhile, I am going to melt this jaggery to prepare jaggery syrup. Pouring half a cup of water and allowing this to melt completely. So, three whistles are over now. Once the pressure releases completely, we can open the lid and check whether it is cooked well or not. Jaggery syrup is getting ready. Jaggery syrup is almost ready. Stir it continuously. So jackfruit is cooked well. Uh, now I am going to transfer this into a heavy bottom pan to prepare jackfruit jam. So just mash it very well. And make sure that it is uh, all the small chunks of jackfruit is properly mashed up. So jaggery syrup is ready. Now we need to sieve this to remove all the impurities from this. Jackfruit is properly mashed up. Now we need to add jaggery syrup into this. Using a strainer, I am filtering this jaggery syrup to make it clean. If you feel that jaggery syrup is too thick, you can thin it down by adding some hot water. Mix well, stir it continuously. Keep the flame in medium and allow this to cook. Now I am adding some ghee into this. Mm -hmm. 
If you want, you can add quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder for an extra flavor. Stir continuously on low flame. Otherwise, it will stick to the bottom of the pan. It will splutter while boiling, so be in a safe distance and uh, keep stirring. To prevent burning, uh, I was using a rubber gloves. Jackfruit puree started to thicken, water content reduced to a great extent. So let's wait for a few more minutes. Once it cools down, you can keep this in an airtight container and refrigerate it and use for almost one month. To get even more dark brown color, use darker shade jaggery. It becomes even more thicker after cooling. This can be eaten along with some bread, chapati, dosa, etc. Switching off the flame. So our chakka variety is ready to serve. Hope you liked today's video. If you like it, do not forget to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are a new visitor. So until next time, next video. Bye-bye.